In the Messianic movement, we tend to make the Torah and the prophets the primary thing. And uh, we talk a lot about Torah, you know, it's Torah, Torah, Torah. And, and everyone's really excited about that and jazzed about that. But I really think that maybe that might be a little bit of a mistake in this sense, that we're not in the era of the Torah any longer. We're in the era of Messiah, Messiah and his kingdom. And so really, I think that the Torah uh, should be a secondary issue. And Jesus, King of kings and Lord of lords, and his kingdom, that should be the primary thing. I was reading in Luke chapter 16 and verse 16 and 17, a fascinating uh, set of ideas from Yeshua himself. Let me read them uh, for you. It says, The law, or the Torah, and the prophets were proclaimed until John. Since that time, the gospel of the kingdom of God has been preached, and everyone is forcing his way into it. Think about that. The kingdom of God has arrived. The law and the prophets were for that era, the era of Moses. And John, being the last of the prophets, marked the end of that. Actually, Jesus is the transitional person. With the coming of Jesus came the coming of the kingdom of God. And with the coming of the kingdom of God, the fullness of the Torah comes into view. In other words, the Torah prophesied the coming king. The, the Torah is all about Jesus' first coming and the establishment, or actually the inauguration, of the kingdom of God. And so with Jesus' arrival, we move from the era of the Torah and the prophets into the era of Messiah. Messiah and his kingdom. The kingdom of God has come 2,000 years ago in Jesus. And what is that kingdom? It's the rule and reign of God. That's right. The long-awaited rule and reign of God is coming to us, has been, and is coming to us in and through the person and work of Yeshua the Messiah. So what about you? Have you entered into this kingdom? Are you a part of the kingdom of God? Or are you lost and stumbling around in darkness, kind of groping and trying to find your way, trapped in sin and shame? I say cry out to Jesus. He's the Messiah. Cry out to him and ask him to save you from this wicked world that we live in, this world of darkness, this fallen world. He will save you. He will bring you into his father's kingdom, underneath his father's rule and reign, that compassionate and merciful rule and reign of God, which is full of resources and great provision. That's right. You can know the peace and joy of God himself being reconciled to him and brought underneath his wings into his kingdom. This is the good news of the gospel of the kingdom of God. This is what Jesus preached. So the big question for all of us is, isn't it time that we've come home to our heavenly father? Isn't it time that we come back to him and enter into his kingdom? You know, Jesus is that path. He is that way home to God. In fact, he says he's the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes home to the Father except through him. So I encourage you to call on his name. Call on the name of Jesus right now and be saved. What are you waiting for? Why wait another moment? Get on your knees even now and cry out and say, Lord Jesus, save me. Come and save me. Bring me into your kingdom, the very kingdom of God. Save me, deliver me, and bring me into the rule and reign of God. The kingdom of God is so close to you. It's near you. It's within your reach. Just call on the name of Jesus and be saved. He will bring you in to this amazing, fruitful, lively, vibrant kingdom where the experience of God's presence can be yours on a daily basis. That's the good news, the good news of the kingdom of God. And I hope that that encourages you today. So thanks for joining me today. Please subscribe to this channel, comment below, and when you get a chance, please visit graftedin.com. Thank you.